Hi everyone, it's Jama Malmi. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to share some fancy folds ideas with you. And this is part of the Creative Design Team collaboration hop. First, I want to show you this gift card holder finished when you open it so you have an idea of what it looks like as I'm assembling it for you. This is super, super easy. It's cut from the Cricut. It is from the Artiste Cricut collection. And once you cut it and you can score it with the Cricut too, it's just a few little folds and then it's complete. So uh, I feel like it's pretty fancy, but you don't have to be complicated to be fancy and have a really awesome end product. So I'm using the bone floater to get some real crisp folds here. And then I'm using my tape just on the sides and what will be the bottom of where the gift card holder goes in because you obviously don't want to block the gift card from going inside that little holder. So that's all there is to it, to just assembling this together, and now we're going to decorate it. So I like to have a ribbon closure. So first I'm going to add some ribbon to the um, bottom layer of the gift card holder. And um, this ribbon is super cool. It's like a cotton, a thin cotton twill, and you can actually stamp on it. I was going to stamp on it, and then I decided not to but um, you definitely can and it looks awesome. So once I get that adhered, here is my second idea for some fancy folds, which again is very simple, but a, it, it ends up with a fancy result. So these are just hearts that I cut on my Cricut and I definitely could have scored them on my Cricut too, but I didn't think about it. And then I'm just folding them down the middle and we're going to make a flower out of them. So they're making kind of 3D petals for the flower. So for this gift card holder, I'm doing um, five, did I do five or six? Six petals, I believe. And I'm inking around the edges to give it a little bit more definition and pop. And then to cover that ribbon, I'm adding just a panel on top of it. You could also uh, cut the gift card holder itself out of a patterned paper or a colored paper and that would look really awesome. And then you wouldn't necessarily need the uh, raspberry outline mat that I added also. But I wanted this to be a real clean white look so I went with just a white um, cardstock base for this. So I cut the stems and the leaf also from my Cricut and I will share my Cricut file down in the description below so that you can recreate this if you would like. You'll need the flower market cartridge and the artiste cartridge and then the hearts are just basic shapes. And I'll go ahead and add score lines on the hearts for you so that that part is done for you as well and you don't need to score them. So once I adhere everything down, I'm going to add a gem in the center of my flower and that helps hide all the points that come together and makes the flower center. And then I'm using this birthday stamp set which is actually retired but I really like the hip hip hooray sentiment and it was the perfect size for right there so I added that. And then I'm using this happy birthday stamp which is uh, not retired and I will link that below. I forget the name as I'm doing this voiceover. Um, and then for the hearts, I'm using the Story by Stacy stamp set that goes along with Story Starter. It's got three sizes of hearts, which I thought paired really nicely with the heart petals. I will link that below as well, as long as, as well as everything that I'm using here today. So now I'm gonna decorate the inside with those same hearts in raspberry ink, just like the front. And then we're gonna call this done. It's very clean and simple, but just so cute. What a fun way to deliver a gift card to somebody. So as you can see here, you can tie it closed with the ribbon and we are all done with this. So I wanted to show you a second way. Oh, I forgot I added some bling because I wasn't gonna add any and then I just can't not have bling on my project. So there we go, <laughs> a few little gems. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another way to use these folded hearts. So there's one card there using the new Seize the Day paper. 
and then I'm making another one using the new yesterday and today paper and you can see it's the same cuts and the same style of card but just by using a different paper in different colors it gives it a very different look so the bright colored one with the seize the day paper I put a hello sentiment on it and it can be for any occasion and I thought that these um, more subdued colors with the yesterday and today paper were um, were nice for a sympathy card so I put a sympathy message on and for these hearts instead of using Cricut cuts I used the um, the stitched hearts die cuts so it adds a nice stitched edge around the hearts which adds a nice extra little detailed embellishment and um, I actually like how that turned out best I really like that detail so I'm inking the edges again still with peach ink this is peach cardstock and it, the peach is a very, very light ink. It doesn't show up tone on tone as well as the raspberry, but you can still see it in person. So I was show, I'm showing you here what it looks like with seven petals instead of eight. So the Seize the Day card, I used eight petals, and it's more full than the gift card holder that had six. And so this is what it looks like with seven. So it's right in between. I end up going back to using eight petals, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like so you know the difference. So once I had the flower shape in place, I added the leaves so that I knew where I wanted them to go and they move around a lot on you. So um, it's okay though. You just kind of have to eyeball it. And so I got these other leaves in place. And by the way, the green is evergreen. And I used the dark side for the bottom leaves and the light side of evergreen for the more viney top leaves. So it's the same color cardstock, but just different sides because close to my card, close to my heart cardstock is a lighter shade on the back of it. So I'm speeding this part up a little bit because I fuss with it a bit to make sure everything is lined up. But what I found to be helpful is if you overlapped each petal just ever so slightly to fit the eight petals. And then I also found it helpful to place the one across from each other down and then kind of line up the straight edges where it's folded, if that makes sense. And then just go all the way around. Sorry, my head's kind of in the way there, but I wanted to make sure I was good and lined up. And that's the hardest part once you get that all lined up. So it is a little bit more tedious and difficult the more petals you have, but I like the look of the fuller flower. So it's up to you how many petals you use um, how by how full you want your flower to be. So I used a new stamp set um, to stamp this sending strength and prayers message on this sympathy card and um, decided to add a little um, dovetail on each side of the sentiment and stick it right down in the middle. It didn't pop enough so I added a little bit of espresso ink which is the color that I used as the background of this card to uh, make it pop a little bit more but then it still didn't pop quite enough for me once I got it down. I'm putting it on 3D foam, and then I realized, oh, it's still not popping quite enough. So then I mounted it onto some espresso cardstock, and I put the um, 3D foam right on top of the espresso, so the espresso is not raised up. It's just the white sentiment message that is raised up, and it looks really cute. So here are the two finished cards. And by the way, the hello is heat embossed with a gold glitter heat embossing. Doesn't that stitched border look really cool? I love that look. So here are some close-ups of all of the projects, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope that you will check out the other design team members' projects um, in this collaboration. I will link them all below. And just so you have an idea, look at these talented ladies that I'm working with. They all have some amazing Fancy Folds projects for you, so please be sure to go and check them out. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.